Joining me right now to wrap it up and look ahead is the Bonson Group founder and managing partner, David Bonson. David, it's great to see you this weekend. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me, Maria. So you had one Fed governor, Rafael Bostic, saying he wants 25 basis point hikes in the foreseeable future. Markets rallied on that. Then you have another Fed official, uh, and that was Christopher Waller, uh, saying that uh, the Fed is going to have to do more, that we are nowhere near the end of this, and that we will likely uh, see the Federal Reserve be more aggressive in the coming uh, months. Your thoughts on where we stand with the Fed's move to kill inflation? Well, I never have believed that the Fed was the cause of this inflation. They were in the list of causes, but not the primary cause. And so now all of us deifying the Fed and giving them the power to limit or control inflation is really problematic. The fact of the matter is that the Fed is very likely going to over tighten and end up doing a lot of damage that doesn't need to be done. You know what the annualized inflation rate was in the second half of last year? See, they're looking year over year, and that's how most of us look at the data. But if you look at the last six months, the inflation rate was 2.6%. And the fact of the matter is that that's with shelter, housing, showing a number that is way higher than real life. Housing prices are coming down. Rents are coming down because they were totally unaffordable because the Fed stayed too loose too long. So I believe they will do two 25 basis point hikes. And I think at that point, I really hope that they will stop before they do some severe damage. Well, we're already seeing damage within the real estate area. I want to get your take on this PIMCO owned office landlord, which defaulted on a one point seven billion dollar mortgages. Uh, this happened late this week. The PIMCO default is basically putting some clouds uh, around credit. Do you worry that commercial real estate is going to have a problem in terms of default and that could spark a widening problem for the macro story? Yeah, and I think it's good that you're distinguished between commercial and residential, because I think residential yeah. prices coming down is a very good thing. There's not yeah. going to be defaults because there's so much equity on the residential side. And yet prices coming down will hopefully bring back some affordability to what was a bubbled housing market. But the office issue you referred to is definitely out there. And yet credit spreads haven't widened very much. So you're going to see some defaults. There are some bad assets. But even like here in New York City, where there there was a big delay getting people back to the office. You're not seeing landlords give keys back or, or ten, you know what I'm saying? The people that have borrowed the money that are responsible for mortgages, for the most part, even with a little higher vacancy, I don't think you're going to see a wave of defaults. Industrial real estate is still very solid. There has to be some damage. You can't get interest rates this high without some pro formas being disturbed. But I don't think it will become systemic, Maria. All right. What is your thought about the week ahead? We've got the jobs numbers coming out next Friday. You've also got the president releasing his budget and more economic data. Do you think things slow down this year? And is that already priced into the market? Would you buy stocks here? We would be buying stocks only in the sense that we're long-term dividend growth investors. And so we hope stock prices come down because we're always rooting to reinvest our dividends at lower prices. And, and yet I understand if people are looking for a perfect entry point, there's simply no way that one can say that stocks can't go lower from here. They had a great run in January. It came back a little in February. I would not be buying the index, no, Maria. I wouldn't buy the whole S&P 500. I still think valuations are too high for us to say that the whole market looks attractive. So we want to buy individual stocks that we think have great dividend growth. The one thing I wish was a real story next week is the president releasing his budget. He's going to do it. But the problem is Congress releasing a budget, the president releasing a budget doesn't mean anything in real life. It's a news story that isn't attached to what's really going to happen because they don't ever actually pass a budget in the House and actually follow a budget. We desperately need a balanced budget amendment. Yeah, a dose of reality from David Bonson. Thank you so much, David. It's great to see you this weekend. Thank you, sir. David Bonson joining Thanks, us Ray. there. We will talk soon. Raising the retirement age to save Social Security. It is on the table and a new push to overhaul the program before it runs dry. 